Good evening. This presentation will talk about adontogenic tumor treatment. As my colleagues uh, previously uh, talked about introduction, classification, and adontogenic cyst, uh, now I will talk about adontogenic tumor treatment, and of course I will try to illustrate them and be uh, as informative as possible. This slide will take a recap for the classification of adontogenic tumors. There are three types of uh, adontogenic tumors. First one is from oral epithelium, which is glioblastoma, and uh, classifying epithelial odontogenic tumor, uh, which is Bendenberg tumor. Second type from the oral epithelium plus mesenchyme. Three subtypes, amyloblastomic fibroma, odontoma, adenomatoid uh, odontogenic tumor. And the final and third uh, type is from oral mesenchyme only, which is odontogenic fibroma and odontogenic myxoma. Now we are talking about the amyloblastoma, which is the uh, part from the oral uh, epithelial uh, odontogenic tumor only. Common epithelial odontogenic tumor, benign but locally invasive, asymptomatic and remain undiscovered until growth produce expansion, tooth and dental occlusion disturbance or incidental radiograph reveal the lesion. This type of lesion will be uh, show when you uh, occasionally take a radiograph which show that uh, lesion or there is disturbance in the occlusion or a pain. In some rare cases, paresthesia and pain may occur and associated to the root resorption and to displacement. As we talked uh, previously, there must be, uh, must, uh, must be pain and paresthesia in that area. Most commonly forms in posterior mandible, the, one, the most popular part of the mandible, which is the posterior part. Age at which lesion became clinically evidenced is third to fifth decade. From uh, 30 to 50 years, it's the most popular age that showed amyloblastoma. Inadequate treatment usually followed by aggressive recurrence. Uh, if the treatment was inadequate, the recurrence will be there. As we say, amyloblastoma is the most popular in the posterior region, but this slide will, uh, will show that there is uh, an anterior amyloblastoma, but the second photo showed the most popular part, which is posterior of the mandible. There are subtypes of amyloblastoma. First one, multi-cystic, multi-locular unsolved which constitute 86 percent unicystic unilocular which uh, constitute 13 percentage and the third one which is peripheral extra osseous which constitute one percent only treatment of oblastoma treatment range from simple inoculation and carotid to log resection uh, it will vary from inoculation simple inoculation to uh, log resection Recurrency reported in 55% to 100% for multicystic lesion and about 18 to 35 for unicystic lesion after curettage or inoculation. Uh, uh, the percentage varies from uh, multicystic to uh, unicystic, but of course the multicystic will show more recurrence than unicystic. Curettage can disperse the tumor into uninvolved areas. Uh, that means when you uh, curettage in an inappropriate uh, manner, you will despair the tumor and you will uh, put it in another area from the jaw. Now we are going to talk about malignant amyloblastoma. It is a benign amyloblastoma of the jaw but show metastatic growth. When there is metastatic growth, amyloblastoma will uh, uh, show a, a malignant appearance. The most common site for metastasis are the lungs. The lungs are the most uh, popular area that will uh, metastasis uh, the tumor from the uh, amyloblastoma. Metastasis is usually associated with multicystic amyloblastoma rather than unicystic tumors. Multicystic amyloblastoma are more uh, frequent to be metastasis rather than unicystic tumors. Moving to amyloblastic carcinoma. An amyloblastoma that has cytological features of malignancy. When the amyloblastoma have the cytological feature of malignancy, it is which is now it is called amyloblastic carcinoma. Rapid growth and pain were common symptoms. This type will uh, patient will have pain and the growth will be very rapid. The treatment is similar to that of an intraosseous carcinoma, but the prognosis is poor if metastases are present. If there is a metastasis, of course, the uh, treatment will be uh, will show that, uh, or the prognosis will be not that good because uh, the malignancy will be uh, in other region rather than the jaw. 
The other subtype of oral epithelial odontogenic tumor is calcifying epithelial odontogenic tumor, uh, and the other name is Pendoberg tumor. And common epithelial lesion that uh, accounts for less than one percentage of all odontogenic tumor. Uh, this kind of a tumor will constitute only less than 100 percent of all kinds of odontogenic tumors. Most often in patients between 30 and 50 years of age with no gender prediction. Uh, this kind of uh, tumor will have no prediction between males and females and uh, people between age of 30 and 50 will be the most popular people that have that kind of tumor. Approximately two-thirds of these uh, neoplasm occur in the mandible. Uh, the, play, the mandible it is the most common place that have this kind of Pinterberg tumor rather than the maxilla. Treatment. Excision with 1 to 1.5 cm bony liner margins and appropriate attention to soft tissue anatomical barrier. Excision of uh, from 1 to 1.5 cm and of course take care about the soft tissue anatomical barrier. Small lesion can be treated by inoculation followed by vigorous curettage. If the lesion is small we can inoculate them and of course uh, followed by curettage. The prognosis of uh, calcifying epithelial odontogenic tumor is good with an infrequent recurrence. The recurrence rate about 14% and recurrent lesion may not manifest it for many years. The prognosis uh, is very good as it, it, it showed and it, uh, the recurrence rate is about only 14% and it will make, may not show until uh, more than 10 years or more. Now we are talking about primary intraosseous squamous cell carcinoma. It is a rare epithelial odontogenic tumor. It is a rare type assumed to arise from odontogenic epithelial or lining of odontogenic cyst. Um, studies show that it, it may be appeared as a result of uh, a remnant of uh, the epithelial or lining of odontogenic cyst. It may be solid or cytogenic typically occur in the posterior region of the mandible of elderly people. Elderly people are most commonly affected by this kind of tumor. Pain and paresthesia may occur. Treatment. The prognosis associated with primary intraosseous odontogenic carcinoma of the jaw is poor and suggests the need for aggressive treatment. Uh, this kind of carcinoma needs an aggressive treatment because the uh, prognosis is poor. Treatment by resection followed by post-operative radiotherapy. Radiotherapy should be done after the resection of the, this kind of carcinoma. Now we are going to talk about the second type of the genetic tumor which is originated from the oral epithelial plus the mesenchyme. First type is odontoma which are developmental malformation of dental tissues. Odontomas are the most frequently occurring odontogenic tumor with prevalence exceeding that of all other odontogenic tumor compounds. Odontomas uh, considered the most frequent uh, odontogenic tumors, which is cons uh, consists more than uh, the half of other odontogenic tumors combined. There are two types of uh, odontoma. First one, compound odontoma, which uh, many small teeth uh, appear as many small teeth. Most common size are anterior maxilla. The anterior maxilla is the most popular place of compound odontoma. The second type of odontoma is complex odontoma, disorders mass of dental heart tissue, uh, which appear as a dental heart tissue uh, in the posterior uh, part of the mandible or maxilla. The treatment. Odontomas are treated with simple inoculation and curettage, not known to recur. Uh, the recurrence of odontoma uh, appears to be not most common or rare as uh, the studies showed that the recurrence of odontoma is rare. The other type of the oral epithelial uh, plus mesenchyme odontogenic tumor is a dermatoid odontogenic tumor. Some consider it as a hematoma. Uh, hematoma is a, a mixture of abnormal uh, tissues plus the cells from which that tissue is uh, originated. Uncommon accounted for 3 to 7 percentage of all odontogenic tumor. It is considered only 3 to 7 percentage of odontogenic tumor. Limited to young, extremely uncommon in patient more than 30 years old. Uh, people more than 30 years old, uh, uh, it is very real to have uh, this kind of uh, tumor. 
Treatment Histologically, the adenomatoid endotusinic tumor is a well defined lesion that is usually surrounded by a thick fibrous capsule. This kind of tumor is uh, mostly uh, capsulated or surrounded by a thick capsule. Owing to this lesion being encapsulated, it separates easily from the surrounding bone as such an inoculation and the curative surgery is curative. Because it is surrounded by this kind of capsule, uh, it is easily to be uh, inoculated and the curative uh, after that and the uh, prognosis will be very good. Now we are going to talk about the last type of uh, oral epithelial plasmazenchymal odontogenic tumor which is amelioblastic fibroma. Rare mixed odontogenic tumor usually seen in children or young adult as uh, we said it is rare in uh, people more than 30 years old. The posterior mandible is affected in 70% of cases. More feature on treatment and prognosis. The tumor is often encapsulated with a small tumor usually being asymptomatic. Larger tumors produce swelling which can expand the cortex and be quite pronounced. Most amyoblastic fibromas are treated by conservative surgical oxygen. However, 20% recurrence rate has led some surgeons to recommend a more aggressive approach. Because of the uh, recurrency uh, percentage is more than 20 percentage, more surgeons are advised to be to use more aggressive approach and surgery to uh, inoculate and curate the lesion. Finally, we are talking about the ectomesenchymal odontogenic uh, tumors. The first step is the odontogenic fibroma, which is rare ectomesenchymal odontogenic tumor. The second type of ectomesenchymal odontogenic tumor is odontogenic myxoma. <coughs> Rare ectomesenchymal neoplasm histologically resemble the dental papilla of the developing tooth, usually seen in young adults. Treatment These tumors are not encapsulated and tend to infiltrate the surrounding bones such that complete removal by cortege is nearly impossible. Odontogenic myxoma should be treated with resection with 1 cm bony liner margin. The final type of ectomesenchymal odontogenic tumors is cementoblastoma. Benign ectomesenchymal neoplasm of cementum and forms a mass of cementum like tissue as an irregular or rounded mass attached to the root of a tooth, usually a mandibular face molar. Mainly affect young adults, particularly male. They are slow growing and the jaw is not usually expanded and may rarely cause gross bony swelling and pain. Treatment of cementoblastoma is easily done by inoculation. Thanks a lot for your time and I will be happy to answer any inquiry on your mind.